they don't even have any more sanders available right now like this is so annoying yeah hey guys welcome back to my channel i am tiara of course and this is the first part of my series where i show you guys how i basically transform um this home that i just purchased and it's definitely a fixer upper um so right here i am just taking up all the wooden pieces um up off of the wooden floor um this home had carpet throughout the entire home the carpet was removed before i purchased the home but there was still remnants of carpet this was a very tedious process um we had to do this throughout the living room the dining room and all three bedrooms which was very very tiring to say the least um also i think if you decide to refinish your floors and there's no carpet on the floor i think it'll be a smooth selling process but with this we still had to go around and take up nails and um staples all throughout the perimeter like i said which was very tedious time consuming and quite annoying my ad but we saw it through we did what we need to do and um this is how the floor looked beforehand before we decided to stain and um, sand and everything like that. As you can see, all the floors were damaged. So, as you guys saw, we started on the floor. We started sanding the floor, and I will insert a little clip as to how it looks now. Um, we kind of got, don't mind this, this is like my vending machine stuff, but we kind of got a little ways um, through it, and then the sander stopped working. So, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I did rent this sander from... Um, one of my local hardware stores and it just stopped working so i brought it up to that hardware store and they claim they fixed it i get all the way back home and it still does not work talk about pissed okay so um i call them of course they're going to refund my whole contract thing um because i did have it rented for like three days of course they're going to refund me but now i have to go to another um store to rent it again like it's it's not like i'm really saving money <laughs> you know what i'm saying like i would have appreciated if they just refunded me and allowed me to still rent it out um for that time that i have had allotted for it but they don't even have any more sanders available right now i guess everyone's sending their floors um so now i have to go to another one come out more money because you know it takes 
five to seven business days to get your money back once you get a refund, which I don't understand because they take it instantly. Obviously, I'm irritated and I'm off coffee. <laughs> so I'm talking a little fast, but I've actually been in a really good mood today because I got this, the cutest bouquet of flowers. Cutest, came with candy and everything. Like who you know? Who you know? I have on the shirt, let me. But who you know? Like flowers with glitter and candy? Like do you love me? Do you love me or do you love me? <laughs> I'm so silly. I am so happy like Gideon. Wow, and not me blushing on camera, but yeah, so I'm not going to let this irritate me. I'm actually going to return this and then I'm going to go to another store so that I can go ahead and get my sander. But I just wanted to update you guys because, yeah, when you're doing home projects, it's never smooth sailing. It's never smooth sailing, but the floors are turning out really nice and I'm so excited to put, um, I don't know if I'm going to go with stain or just put like the whatever the top coat is on there um i forgot what it's called but the sealer and then the top coat um but yeah i just want to let you guys know that everything is not peaches and cream when you're deciding to do things on your own so yeah once i get back to the house with the other drum sander i will update you guys and show you guys how the floor looks I know you can see the cards. See, I probably know where I'm at. But I don't want to mention them. I don't want to talk bad about them. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. But. <laughs> so, this is how the floors turned out. Once we did about, um, we did about three passes, um, with the drum sander, um, using a different grit each time i'll have everything down in the description box this is in no way a tutorial i'm just literally trying to show you guys how i'm revamping um, my fixer upper um but the drum sander was a piece of cake to use but that orbital sander that oh my god getting around the edges and things like that was a complete so it just seems like it was just too much stain on my floors for the um, actual sandpaper and it just kept burning and kept coming off. It was just so much and I just really wanted to stop. As you guys see, I am sweating <laughs> like nobody's business. Um, as you can see, this sandpaper is not even worn out, but it keeps on coming off like this <sighs> screw thing isn't holding it which is making me like go through more sandpaper than i need to which in turn is going to make me spend more money because these sandpapers cost money the first time i rented these sanders i rented it from a home depot that was fairly close this time, I rented it from a Home Depot that's about 30 minutes away. And I only got it for four hours this time because I only had like the edges to do in a couple rooms. But the fact that it keeps tearing up is really bothering me. It's about two o'clock now. I have to get it back by 4.30. This is like the last day and I was really just trying to get these edges together because I'm ready to sand and put some, some furniture in here. I have some furniture coming in like a week. And yeah, I'm ready for that. Um, but this is really frustrating because it's more money and I need to call them and let them know I need more time, but I probably should have got more sandpaper too. This is so annoying. Really, really annoying. Um, but it's definitely rewarding to see the floors look way better than they did previously. Like I'm happy with the result as long as I'm able to finish the freaking floors. Um, I have just this line right here, as you can see the line demarcation right there. And then I have like a few parts right here. And then this entire room around the perimeter to do. Well, I guess, yeah, around the perimeter to do. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna worry about the inside of the closet right now, just because it's the inside of the closet. If ever I want to finish that, I could just get the bigger one 
again but yeah i have this whole room to do and it looks like it's not a lot of work but it's definitely a lot of work <laughs> um like i said as you guys can see i'm sweating and all i'm doing is like holding it with two hands as you guys seen in the previous clip to like sand but it keeps coming off and it's really bothering me i want to figure out if i could put like tape around it so that it doesn't keep breaking that's what i'm gonna actually do so yeah let's see if that will work because at this point i can't i can't keep spending money on this type of thing on this one project because i really need to start painting soon i have a guy here who is installing my washer and dryer i have an electric was it is it an electric yeah i have an electric thing and i didn't have an electric plug down there they had a gas um washer and dryer obviously before i moved here and yeah so don't mind these paint colors either of course they're leaving but we wanted to do the floors first um we're kind of working backwards because i know that we're supposed to do like the ceiling and the paint first before we do the floors but we just knew that this job would be really tedious um i don't think painting is going to be too crazy we could just put like some plastic down on the floors and stuff like that and paint so yeah i will come back and update you guys once i'm done hopefully i get done my work today so fast forward uh to me actually staining the floor so i ended up going to menards picking out my stain color testing it on the floor and then going to get more to actually stain the floors um at this point i had already done some staining but as you guys saw in the previous clips the floor was really damaged so it did not go on as even as i thought it should and i thought i messed up at some point but i did not um it was really just the floors were not in good condition um they were in good condition but there were still discoloration if that's if that makes sense so i did skip a step which i would recommend you guys put conditioner on your floors which would help the stain evenly distribute on the floors even if they are quite damaged so that is something that i wish that i had done prior to i figured that i had done a lot of research and i did not need it because the floors looked kind of um you know and the unit, like everything looked the same color once we were done staining, but I guess wood has penetrating factors that I did not factor into um, me staining. Um, so this is me staining the dining room and living room. Like I said, this entire process is very tedious. So if you do have people who are willing to help, please ask for help. Don't be like me. Don't try to be like an independent woman and <laughs> get this done on your own. Because like I said, I am on my hands and knees and I'm literally, I literally have to do this throughout the entire home. Like I said, we're doing the dining room, living room, and three bedrooms and plus the hallway, of course. So being on my hands and knees for that entire time is not for the week at all. Um, you guys are getting a little bit of a glimpse um of the dining room area what we did to that area as well um so keep your eyes peeled for that video to come soon but um yeah this is me staining the floors i'll have the stain color and things like that listed down below in the description box um if you guys are interested and once again you guys need to follow me on my social media because i did post like a little small video of me kind of like doing the floors um on TikTok and on Instagram. So go ahead and follow me on there to make sure you stay updated. Like I said, I do ask you guys questions on um, TikTok and Instagram um, as to like, what should I put on the wall? What color should I choose? What flooring should I choose? Blah, 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 blah. So if you do want to be um, engaged in that way, go ahead and follow me on all my social media, um, which is right here for you guys. But this is a very tedious process. Very rewarding in the end because as you guys saw, the floors were horrible. Um, there was no way that I could look at that for too much longer. So this is what I ended up doing. And yeah, you guys will see this finished product very, very, very soon.
So this is how the floors look in the ends. I added a carpet and things like that, but you can still kind of see what it looks like in real time. And then here's a TikTok of how I did it. Hey guys, I am TT Marie and about a month ago I decided to purchase a home and it's definitely a fixer upper. You guys see that these floors were in horrible condition so we decided to sand these floors. Me and my mom, we stained them as well and dun -dun -dun -dun, look how they turned out. So beautiful, so gorgeous. Please go ahead and follow to see more and more updates on how I decide to transform my home.